Hey what's up guys welcome back in the previous video i showed you how to create your very first android application in android studio now in this video i'll be introducing you to some of the main files and folders inside your android application so if you're someone like me who has worked on eclipse before and now are switching to android studio then just be a little patient because the android studio interface is totally different as compared to eclipse not everything is different but again there are some things in android studio which are a lot different than eclipse so as you can see over here these two files main activity.java and activity main.xml are responsible for creating your activity and as i told you previously an activity is nothing but a page so whenever you create any page or an activity inside android studio then these two files are important for building up your page now as you can see over here the activity main.xml is mainly responsible for the front end part of your application because this is the part which the user will see and main activity.java is basically your back end part meaning in this part you write the main code like if you click on this object then this should happen now if you see in your activity main.xml at the bottom there are two tabs by the name of design and text so design tab basically shows you the design of your android studio application and the text tab basically shows the code that you have written for creating that design so even though activity main.xml is related to your design you have to write a separate code in your activity main.xml file now here's one thing i want to show you if you go to your activity main.xml file and if you drag and drop any of the component on your screen like this then this component will be placed on this part of the screen and not only that the corresponding code will be generated inside your text tab over here so this is one of the most important features in android meaning if you do not want to code in xml then you can drag the component inside your design layout you can make some readjustment in the text tab over here and then your component in xml file is ready and once you take any component in xml you have to make sure that you link that component in java moving on from your java file and xml file let's look at this left side which basically shows the hierarchy of your application so if you look at this app folder inside the app folder you first have this folder by the name of manifest now if you open this manifest folder by clicking on this one triangle over here you will see that there is a file by the name of android manifest.xml now android manifest.xml is one of the most important file inside your android app because it is inside this file that you have to call certain permissions i'll be talking about android manifest.xml in detail as we progress in this video series after that you have a folder by the name of java and if i open this inside the java folder i have one more folder which is labeled by the package name com.enginersdream.helloworld i hope you remember the package name after that if i open the com.enginersdream.helloworld inside this i have a file by the name of main activity which is nothing but this java file below your java folder i have one more folder by the name of res now inside the res folder you have four basic folders drawable layout mip map and values now let me tell you what are these folders for now the folders inside res are mostly responsible for storing your media files like audio video and images and inside the res folder you will see that there is one more folder by the name of layout and inside the layout folder you will find this activity underscore main dot xml file so your main activity or java file is placed inside the java folder under the folder com.enginersdream.helloworld and your activity main.xml file is placed inside the layout folder which is inside the res folder now lastly if you see over here i have something called as gradle script now gradle is a new feature in android studio gradle feature was not available in eclipse gradle is a custom built tool which is used to build android packages or apks now i won't be talking about gradle in depth right now because you should have a certain programming knowledge before i explain the gradle script or the gradle concept over here so i hope you would have understood something about the main activity.java and the activity main.xml file and you would have also understood how the files and folders are placed inside your android application 
and what is the importance of each and every fine. So that's it from this video. If you like this video, please feel free to hit the like button and in the next video, we'll start with the actual programming part. Thank you guys.